Wait, 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 don't, 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 don't show, don't, don't, don't. Frankie! Get this out of me. Frankie! Uh, Dooley's at 8 30 Atlantic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to check into the hotel. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me do it right. He told us. Look at Holiday that. Inn. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. That Hi. we were driving there. And these are all the fans of NL1. They're so excited. Yes. Yeah. And we were driving there. And I said, we're so close to the where we because we're going to your house, right, Frankie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Let's get in the car and go to your house. <laughs> We'll give you a... Uh, <laughs> all right. You, okay, so you're going to walk there, and then we'll meet you 8.30 at Dooley's? Yeah. Ladies and Yay! gentlemen. Frankie. Oh, Frankie, right. I love you. Hey, we're going to meet and Leo Hart and Akia Anderson. Gigi will be seeing me in Sydney one day. That's one right. Day, that's yes. right. Yeah. That's right. We're going to go by the hotel, uh, Sydney, and then we're going to meet you at your house for dinner, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, a, I'll be, a, I'll be, a, I'll be a, All right. Frankie, right, Frankie. Up the big fiddle? Yeah. At the big fiddle, yeah. And it should be 3.30, around 3.30 Atlantic, Frankie. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I got to get a picture. Let, can I do a picture with you real fast, yeah. Frankie? Just, you know, not that they're not screen. You, yeah, just get a picture with the three of us. Hold on. Thank you, Deadpool. Frankie, Deadpool says hello. Okay, so they're out right now, but they'll be right back. What a historic moment in history. They saw him. Oh, they ran into him. Oh, and look how delighted he was. I have goose flesh. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, hey! How about that? That was me, Gino. Yesterday in Nova Scotia, welcome to In Our Water. We're hanging out. Isn't this great? Isn't this great? Hi, hello. Obviously, I'm not Gino. That was my best impression. I'm sitting in for um, my betrothed, Gino Bisconti, while he is in Canada. And you know what? I want to know what? I thought it was a ridiculous thing to do to drive to Canada. I really thought I, I, he asked me, well, would you want to go before and before she got to, would you want the, I said, no, 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 I didn't. I said, no, absolutely not. I don't, I haven't, I, but please, I, 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 especially if you're taking the, um, uh, uh, Sonic, uh, you know, I'll let you and Carl do it. And I thought it was ridiculous to go, but look how elated. Frankie McDonald was. I love. Hey, hey, sweet tits, how are you? <laughs> Sit right down. Gigi Dior is our guest. Hello, Hi, Hi, beautiful. Hi. Oh my gosh, our surprise guest, everybody. The oh, incomparable. Sorry, surprised. The incom. <laughs> yes, the incomparable Gigi Dior. Hello, everybody. I don't think Frankie knows that you'll be here, and he will be excited. Um, <gasps> Hello. Flip your. There you go. Hi, Frankie! Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, Gina Visconti, Carl, and Frankie McDonald. We're using the selfie stick. Yeah. We are at the big fiddle. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. It's marginally big. I've seen some of the porn Gigi does. I've seen her say, I'm getting to the big fiddle. I was, <laughs> the fiddle. I was doing a fiddle joke, Frank. Yeah. We, I see, yes. Hi, Frankie! Happy Eclipse Day! Big fiddle for the Eclipse. I'm so excited. I got my glasses. See? I'm ready. Yes, we're ready, Frankie. G, uh, we have our glasses. Show them. Like, we are prepared. By the way, the weather here, as if, you know, look at Frankie. Fantastic. The weather here, they literally said this is the best weather they've had in fucking forever. Look. 
there's a there's a 60 percent chance we'll see 80 percent of the eclipse today we're pretty Woo! excited about it as yeah. i always say it's the fun. universe provides doesn't it look. and we have frankie in the giant adirondack wow. chair which Love actually it. when gino sat in it he looked like a little a little <laughs> peep and frankie's like a, a tall drink of water like a, a large man he's a very large what? man it's his throne Frankie, you should sit there, there every Frankie day. Has an Frankie, I am the supreme ruler of the world. I really shouldn't be in this picture. <laughs> I am the ruler of the world. You should really have your arms on the side so you look more relaxed. <laughs> That's a, for a family, Frankie. You're the you size of a family. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you didn't want to come up here. Fuck you guys. I got yeah. no sympathy for. Look at these winners. <laughs> yes. You're right, Gene. Can you make him say I'm the ruler of the world again? I got you. you. You got that public sex in Atlantic City, and, and Garrett went to Puerto Rico, but you're all losers. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm beside myself. Frankie, tell them you're the real winner. I am the real winner. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You How's are, up, Franklin. You <laughs> are. Yes, sir. You are. I'm telling you, what we're seeing here, people, people, what we're seeing, I'm sorry, I'm plugged in. The people in Canada are so nice. I'm plugged into an outlet right now. Uh, what we're seeing here, people, is fucking incredible. I'm telling you, it was worth every every second of the ride. Like, it's getting he dark was gonna here. going to say penny, like the but he really didn't spend any money. <laughs> he made money. You see how he was going to, every second, he said, but yes, go ahead, Biscontessants. Uh, I'm telling you, like, oh, we were doing a good, I got to get the selfie stick back, but it literally is, it looks like a black, it looks like, literally, it looks like just a little thin, two-thirds, like, glowing neon outline of the sun. I'm explaining it horrifically, but it's just, it's incredible. It looks like, you know, when you see the thing we just saw in Cleveland, like, imagine if that was only going around, like, a third of the sun. Yeah, thank you. No, not him. Oh, Steve, what time that doesn't is count. it? But imagine, like, you know, when you see the total eclipse. That total eclipse when you see the thin line around the complete sun. Imagine if it just was like from the twelve o'clock to the eight o'clock part. That's what it looks like here. It's well, fucking insane. Frankie, so me, Carl's gonna help me hold this on me and Frankie just like that. Frankie, yeah, here you go. Of course, to Nelson, if you want to say, the move the country, yeah. go get a lucky to move the country, go meet me. Oh my God. This is worth a toast. It's a big check. One more. It's a It's signed by Did Carl make that? Of course he did. Fuck you, Garrett and Steve. Five thousand and two dollars. Ah, 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 it's five thousand and two. I want you to keep this, Frank. You know it's a big check. Four eight twenty four. A fucking eclipse. Cheers to you, Frank and McDonald. Hold on to this. Oh, chin don, Frankie. Chin don. Clap. Yes, wonderful. To the eclipse, to Frankie, to the road trip. This is a remarkable moment. Cheers. Uh, Chambord. Mm. I'm getting another bottle of this for the next show. Oh when he's at the back yelling, it's a fake check. Look at that. And then you me up. Signed it. Look, it's $5,002. Now we're this is magnificent. Oh, you're getting chased by gorillas. Ah. ah. Yes, now you're getting chased by a gorilla. <laughs> Ooh, ah, ah, we dropped ah, the phone. Ah. Oh no, run. This is the, this is why I told him to get the fucking selfie stick. Oh my gosh. Yes, run, Frankie. You're getting Run, Frankie, run. That's what actually. He's going to get you and rip you to shreds. He's going to have a heart attack during the eclipse. Stop running, Frankie. Stop running. <laughs> Watch out, it's raining quesadillas. Oh my god. Oh no! Duck hit the deck! <laughs> Oh, oh dear God! Oh no! Case of these through the trip. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> Darling. I'm out of breath. Check <laughs> hat. Here we go. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. And get the, and the, the, the check. 
Get the check. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I get the check. Look at all that merch. Now get the check. We have to see the check. And hold again. it all. Let's get it all in one shot. And now say fuck you, Anthony. <laughs> hold it up. Say the N word. <laughs> say the N word. <laughs> yes. Put your head above the check. Put your head above the check. Yay. Uh, doesn't it feel good to be paid yes. for work? Yes. Hold it up, hold it up. Hold right. it up! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we all won here today. <laughs> Nice, Frankie. Oh, oh, Frankie, thank you so oh much. My God. If it wasn't it's not a real yeah, check, it's a picture. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> oh my God. Anthony, I, I believe he'll love that. Oh, oh yeah. Frankie, that. looking sharp in the baseball yeah, cap. Yeah, that actually looks like good it. on you, Frankie. Yeah. It does. You look very, you know, nice. Very, very in the mo Oh, my God. Oh, wow. beautiful. Look at the love in his eyes. Put some that maple syrup in that shit. Drink it right off. Oh, that's oh, my gosh. Anthony will be. He's drinking it in action. Showing it in action, I like it. Yeah. Yes, chug, chug, chug. I love it. It works. I love that. Thank oh, I'm so glad you got so much swag, Frankie. That's wonderful. Um, and you deserve every penny of that check. Yeah, it looks like Make there's sure the most. Wait a minute, it's a fake check, not no, a real no, check. No, Eight boxes worth of shit. Yeah, you can have Frankie's gonna one. have strong opinions on the leadership of New York City when he comes on tomorrow. Yes. And yeah, when you come in here, are you gonna come out? Are you gonna make a trip to New York? <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, that's a no. Yeah, but we had we also, he burglarized, or no, he broke into your room at one point, didn't he? Well, no, I know what you're talking about. I overslept. I guess I turned my alarm off instead of hitting snooze. So he just wanted to see if I was alive. He was tapping he was at the window. He climbed over the balcony at great risk. To your... Very little risk. It was probably the balcony. We were on the first floor, but it's elevated. So the fall would probably be... It was, this is probably the fall. It would have probably been, I would have been able to tuck and roll. Mm. And it was, What a hero. Yes. Well, because here's the thing. We're driving, uh, what, what is it? So it's, it's, the, it's the second to last night of the trip. It's Monday night. We fucking, you know, we watched, uh, we, we got done the eclipse. We're driving back. Right, it's late. And it's late. Right. So now it's 9 o'clock and I wake up and I text him, did you say 9 or 10? No response. Okay. Now it's 10 o'clock, no response. So this is where it makes sense, okay, to me. Now, Carl is one of two things in my mind at this point. Dead or oversleeping, right? Right. Am I wrong? Dead what is would... an option, a guy with a bucket list. Right. Thank you. He's dead or oversleeping. Now, odds are... There's not a chance he's four hours on his way home. <laughs> <laughs> there is a chance. Garrett, there's not. You know why? Because before I did anything, I made sure the car was still there. I swear. <laughs> Garrett, I swear to God. I'm like, I'm like, maybe, maybe, maybe he went out for coffee? But he'd be texting me, and I swear, it's that, it's that slow. I didn't just go look. I'm like, it better, it better, it better. It's one of those reveals. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, it's there. Now we're back to the plan. He's either dead or asleep. If he's asleep, which he probably is, if I, I, I have one of two options because the rooms are right next to each other. I can knock on his door, but now I'm waking Carl up, and Carl deserves to sleep as late as he wants. More than he deserves privacy. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you sitting on that, asshole? A second. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh, right. You're a natural. Yeah, you eat. No, quick. he's quick. I meant no disrespect. So, so if he's so. As I was saying, Carl deserves sleep more than he does privacy. He does because if I knock on the door, I've woken up Carl. That's bullshit. Right? Yeah. So that's option one. But option two, because the scale the balcony. Because the universe provides, right? And we're right next to each other and it's an easily scalable balcony. I'm not telling you I didn't go over the balcony and yell parkour. I didn't. I just went over the so balcony. I go over the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> and he's How rolling. does the universe and provide he, in this story? <laughs> provides. So I go over the balcony and I peek in and he's waking up. And well, like when you were waking up at that moment, it was like 11 o'clock at that point. Yeah, I had woken up and I said, what the fuck? Right. And then I took a look at my alarm. It's yes, it's set to 8 a.m. Right. So then you're tapping at the window. So I got up. No, you're just looking in. And I, I tapped. Was, I was, but you know, I'm here. I was creepily. Because it was right as I was peeking. <laughs> 
I was here all night, Carl. <laughs> I've been watching you. You forgot your cat. Dad you sucks. sleep so restlessly, Carl. <laughs> Thank you. Cat dad sucks. Oh, this one was the one I used. Never mind. Um, yeah, it's crusty. <laughs> Is that what we wanted? But what would you have done? <laughs> what would you two have done? Called him. I did call him. I, I personally think I would have actually knocked on the door. Yeah. But, but what like, about uh, if room, I was worried? Room phone. What's that? Yeah. Dial the room number. I did not. <laughs> well, Gino didn't want well, to wake him up. With cell phones world, why would that you think That would have woke of him that? up. Because, but that uh, fucking Garrett did. That would have been the smart thing to do because you would have heard Before the Garrett go. You would have heard the phone ringing. Yeah, but, but then would've, I would have. It would have woken him up, which I, I thought you were preventing. You're right. It would have woken him up. So you're right. So so yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> you call the front desk and say, "Hi, I'm in room whatever Carl's room is, and I need a wake up call in five minutes." But then I'm waking him up. No, you're not. The front desk is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, hey, I need a wake-up call for room 205. Sir, you drove away two hours ago. <laughs> they were So many people cried when they, show the footage of Frankie. Show the footage of Frankie. This is a cryable moment. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Do you I'm want mustard? I'm good. I'm good. You don't want McDonald's. mustard? You don't. Cling clong. <laughs> we were literally draw. It's such a goddamn pleasure to meet you, yeah. buddy. Where were you? Where are you going? I'm going for, for a rock. That means I was seeing that dude. He's at eight thirty. He's already yes. getting rid of us. <laughs> I'm going for a walk, Atlantic, which means I'm Georgia. leaving. Hotel. Hold on, hold we're on. We're going to right. where you told us. Look at Holiday that. Holiday Inn. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. That is amazing. We were literally driving there, and these are all the fans of NL1. They're so excited. Yeah. And we were driving here, and I said, we're so close to the, where we, because we're going to your house, right, Frankie? Yeah, yeah we're going to stay at your house, right? <laughs> kid, kid doesn't miss. Let's get in the car. We'll go to your house. <laughs> That moment, he laughed out loud in my ear, and I'm like, I'm the coolest man that's ever lived. And you remember, oh, look, you remember I said, I said two weeks ago, I'm going to go there just to see Frank. Uh, no, we have to go. We have, look at, look at that. <laughs> this is the universe providing, the bumping into him, and we don't bring it up, but it's right across the street from the joke, Sydney Holiday Inn. Yeah. You know? And. Also, there's footage. Otherwise, it would have been at the big. It would have been at Dooley's. Dooley's. I think it was better. The universe giving you that. <laughs> you she got out the of the tab yesterday. What's that? She said, and I quote, and she paid the tab. Did she not say, the "I'm wearing the blazer. I'm paying the tab"? Yeah. Then she also said, I think because me and Gino are getting married, his money is mine or something, so I'm just going to spend all of it. She didn't mention that when you had her on speaker. She didn't she, mention it. She could have all my money. When you call It's all hers. It's not like a band that, that look, at, look at that. Look at that crew. If, if, by the way, let's drink. We're doing, she heard we're doing a toast to this crew. Chen all right. Dan. Now, put that picture back up. I want to toast. And, uh, well, Garrett's Shandan. not in. To fucking everyone that manned this fucking place. Like, be Frank. These four Frank. Garrett, of course, Steve, Stancil, Cassius, fuck, Cashless Clay is his name, fucking Tardy, Mike Kiki, Gigi Dior, who took out her tits during the eclipse so I could say to Frankie, you're not supposed to look right at it. Come on. <laughs> Come big on. Boobs, huh? That's right. Shandon, thank you for holding, Joey. D will get to you. Mmm. Mmm. That's yes. so Frankie, good. Frankie, you are a figure. Frankie, you are a giant person with a giant heart, and meeting you, I'm gonna cry right now, was one of the most amazing experiences Beautiful. of my life, Frankie. You know that, right? It was epic. It was oh, <laughs> Whoa, nice. epic. It was epic. Uh I can tell you that in London, because I play there sometimes. Uh like one of my jokes is just saying, like, I feel very well, this is the past now about but uh, I feel very sorry for Americans because you guys had to choose between two of the most evil groups in history. You had to right. choose between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, two of the most evil groups in history. You had to choose between Nazis and women. Now that joke in 2015 uh, or 2000, maybe 17, everyone laughed. I mean, it got an ooh, but it was like everyone's laughing. Two years later, my friend was in the audience. He's a pro comic. It lost the audience.
But in your Same defense, because worse than that. I'll I'll explain yeah, it. Bill, was, Bill's not the guy to talk to her because Donald Trump's not a Nazi. He's fucking the man that's fucking making people realize every fucking politician is against us. So the people that looked at you like, why would you call Donald Trump a Nazi? They thought you were stupid and they weren't wrong. No, no, no. So let care. me say I don't this. I don't care what you think. That's not my point. No, no. In but Chris's like, defense. Chris He's a big fucking boy. Sit there in your fucking hat and let him fucking Hold on talk. A second. Shut the fuck let me just up. Say this. It, what doesn't he get? And it, like, like you joke around. You're like, let me. No. Man. Shut all the right, fuck right, up. Right. Like him, Shut the fighting. fuck up. Your I've been nothing fighting. but fucking c o u t r e s o y. Courteously polite, but he just said Donald Trump was a Nazi. As a joke. Okay. And I said, you like jokes. and I said, the reason they didn't laugh is because Donald Trump is not a Nazi. No, no, no they, they didn't. Well, no, no, the reason they didn't laugh is because they felt I offended women. Right? No, how did you offend women? No, no, I, no, of course, the, the, it's Hillary ironic. Clinton's it's a not joke. a woman. She's a cunt. It's a joke, obviously. But the point is right? that in the UK, wokeness has increased. Did we ever get to the thing you were asking? And you wouldn't let me fucking do my bit. Yeah, Rich got told to shut the fuck up. You he wouldn't did let do me bit. do my yeah, bit. Did. Because you missed it. You was doing a bit. Can I say something to you that you'll get? Your shut the fuck up. Your phone I'm talking to Rich. Your He's a big boy. Your phone isn't yes. blowing up right now with people no, saying, not. this guy, this guy. Guy, this guy and at some point you have to say look I got your back people okay but I know that you know what's going on I just like to think that you know I rarely hold on shut the fuck up rarely do that no Ra I like it though I know you, you like it, do it but more you, often. you understand when I do it you understand when I do it uh Steve of the Garrett and Steve show starring Steve Rich's and Garrett bit, you get that there's a reason <laughs> you get that right no <laughs> You had a little cummies on your mouth. Watch this, fine. Rocky, you're in hot water. Something to say? My man. What's up, buddy? Um, I, I'm glad you waited a little while for it to pick up because I, I just got done laughing at this I Australian these. fucking asshole, uh, uh, Australian gypsy sitting on a couch talking about his mother's a whore and he sucks 7-Eleven uh, hot dogs. He's horrible. Have him stand up, do a minute of fucking funny, and not see if he's that. hilarious or not, because all I've been doing is waiting to call yeah, I'll tell you, why do you go fuck say, yourself? Fucking yeah, you go, horrible. In New York now, right? So, and like... we're an asshole. And first of all, you don't deserve to sit on the couch. It's gash on the couch, men on the fucking uh, bleachers. Yeah. Who, who You're is this? You're an asshole. Fuck I sat you. on the couch for Goodbye. months. Welcome to America. Now, Steve, I appreciate it. Thanks for that. another text saying the exact Come same here. thing. I After a while, I'm like, can I just, and he shits on Trump on this show, and that's when I have to, like, draw a line. What are you justifying to me? But you yelled at me because you were busting my balls for yelling at him, and I just want to make sure the fans know I'm telling you because you are a regular. You are fucking part of the show. So I'm not saying, hey, dummy. I'm saying, I need you to just call me a fucking dummy? <laughs> After What's yelling at words, Rich? You know? You're out of control. But I was shitting on him also. I'm going to talk to someone about the on the show Shut up. because you're just Shut out of up. control. I think Steve Your Young behavior is unbecoming of a man this is or why a woman. I, and this is why I do all that so you can save it with comedy. That's why I do I it. He's going terrible. to stay with you. Boy, the bad news is, is is that he's still going to marry you. Actually, I have wonderful news. Bill is gifted. This you. is my wedding gift. Bill, is, I'm, I'm on a budget. Bill for our wedding gift has given us the wavy yellow guy that you want. I do want that, and me and Bill will remain friends, but the terrible news is that I have to call off the wedding. Uh -huh. I seem to have lost the ring again. Watch this. How did you lose the ring, Keanu? Well, it's a bit untoward. <laughs> Were you up at 6 in the morning banging dudes and you left the ring there because you're watching yes. the show screaming? Yes. This will hurt, but <laughs> precisely. <laughs> precisely that. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Ken, I'm going to tell you something. I really am terribly sorry, but as you know, I can't sleep. I don't work hard, and I'm sleeping during the day, yes. right? Yeah, that's what right? I said. That's what I said. So I have to get my rocks off somewhere. <laughs> and normally I'm careful. You are killing in the booth, baby. Maybe if you could see Darren Steve, you'd be the happiest man alive. Darren Gino, it's Frank and Gal. Um, is that guy from um, um, England? He's uh, his His father is. English. English, and his mother is not a whore, right? Yeah. Did I get it right? Yeah. There not you go. Just a whore. Sorry, he's born in England. He was born in London. He was born in London. No. I think you should have Jen on your show, though. You'd like her. She's pretty sharp. We like her. She's fun. She is quite sharp. Yeah. That guy's sort of a dud. Appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Headlining. Shaking, Louie. Clam radio. Thank you. Am I clam radio now?
No way. Really? It's close. Clam radio. Don't Maybe. criticize him, Garrett. <laughs> All right, well, look. I learned my lesson, Gene. Do you really think I, I like I wasn't I don't even know what you're mad about what I said, but it, it, whatever it is, it's wrong. I wasn't mad about what you said. I was just mad about 80 texts coming in shitting on him and me trying to like be like, hold on. Rocky called in three times to shit on that guy. I ignored it. Then he said one thing that's like, that's too much. He tried to defend. I'm like, would you just I wasn't let me? defending him. I was shitting on him. That's all. Chris, wasn't I shitting sure. on you? I wasn't. All right, fine. Anything Look, you said, This is Rich. Gino Bisconti saying clam radio. But the queens we use would not excite you. Sorry that I just make it so difficult. Oh, you know. I can feel the sample walking 